In addition to Yemen, I have traveled extensively in the region in the past weeks, including to Iran, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. My discussions have focused on the need for a conducive environment for resolving the conflict in Yemen. Amid today's shifting sands, I see that three things need to happen in the immediate term to create an off-ramp to this dangerous uh, escalatory cycle. First, we need to see regional de-escalation. The United Nations is engaging with relevant stakeholders to encourage the prioritization of diplomatic channels to this end. The United Nations Secretary General has called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza and has warned he is gravely concerned about the further spillover of this conflict. Second, the Yemeni parties must stop public provocations and refrain from military opportunism inside Yemen at this delicate juncture. Escalation in Yemen is a choice. Making that choice comes with a price, a price that will be paid by the Yemenis in even greater loss of lives and livelihoods. The parties must avoid all actions that risk this outcome. And I am encouraged, Madam President, that in my latest exchanges, I have received assurances that all parties prefer the path to peace. Third, and because Yemen is not a footnote to a wider regional story, the parties need to refocus on, on safeguarding the progress that has been made thus far toward reaching an agreement. The regional escalation does not negate the urgent needs in Yemen for a nationwide ceasefire, paying public sector salaries, resuming oil exports, opening roads, ports and airports, reconstruction and other elements that have been under negotiation. <music>